A good way to feel good all the time is to get uh, an animal, like a pet. I have a dog. The dog is the fucking, I see it and I smile. I love it. I love to pet the pet. I, the, the noun is a verb. I got it to do what it is to it. I just like, I like to pet the pet. That's what I, that's how, why I got it. And I, uh, it's, 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 I love it when my dog is sleeping and it looks just so peaceful and sweet. And I, I'll go over to her and I'll just, I'll start petting her while she's sleeping. But then she'll wake up and look at me. And then I feel like a fucking creep. <laughs> I'll be like, oh, you're adorable. And then I go, what? what? What are you? I go, oh, shit, I'm sorry. Oh, fuck. Oh, God, I'm sorry. I just know one day I'm going to be taking a nap and I'm going to feel a coarse paw on my cheek. And I'm going to wake up and the dog's going to be like, oh, I'm sorry. I thought this was cool. I thought it was cool to see someone resting peacefully then creepily rouse them up with a touch to the face. If it's not, I cannot do it, but it just seems like the way things go around here, I can. Now take me out, I gotta take a shit. Oh, hell no, dog. I have one dog, and I, uh, I think that's enough. I, I, I once lived with a girl, uh, and we had three dogs. If you're wondering how many dogs three dogs is, it's way the fuck more than two. So much more dog than two dogs. Because it's like they do nothing but rile each other up. It's like one dog will go, huh? The other will go, what? And the other one's like, let's do it! And then it's just fucking running and barking and pissing and shitting and tearing shit up. Pointless. It's a pointless thing to do to get three dogs. And it's like they're fucking always doing something. I hated it. Individually, great. Together, fuck them. And it's a, and when I was over with this girl too, it's just like the, 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 everything was about the dogs. There was always something with the dogs, and we and we were like I just moved in with her, and I really thought when you moved in with a girlfriend, it's sex all of the time, everywhere. It wasn't. It was sex none of the time, anywhere. And I was confused. I was young. And I remember like bragging to my friends. I was like, hey, I'm moving in with my girlfriend. That means I could wake up whenever in the night and they just fuck her. That's what I get to do. I get to just fuck her because we live together and I pay half the rent and I take out the garbage. And then I realize that now that sounds like something like a rapist would think. Um, I take out the garbage. I can fuck anything I want. <laughs> So I, I, like, we just had no sex. And I, I was getting so angry. I never had, like, violent emotions in my life until I was uh, just living with a girl and not having sex with her and just being so upset. And, like, it's like, and I, got, I was getting tense. I wanted to, I wanted to, like, like it's just, it was very, very scary. It's very scary to not be a violent person and all of a sudden want to fucking kill somebody. And it wasn't my fault. It was basically, it was all the sperm in my testicles had nowhere to go, so they built up and then went into my hands to try and choke her. They were saying, if we cannot create a life, we will destroy one. And I had to, I had to fucking figure... I had to figure it out. I didn't want to. I didn't want to be a fucking weirdo. Um, more. I didn't want to like jerk off when she was in the fucking house. I had to figure out a time where I could do it. But I left for work before her, and I came home from work after her. There was no time I could do it. And so one day, I told myself uh, to try and save her life that I would go home early from work, <laughs> with the sole purpose of going home to jerk off, which is so weird to say out loud. <laughs> And it's something I need to do. I told my, my, told my bosses, hey, I got to take off early. I got a doctor's appointment. Not too far from the truth. <laughs> there was health concerns afoot. And so I, uh, I was rushing home. I was like weaving through traffic, trying to get, trying to get back home. And I, I, I was going so fast, I'm surprised I didn't get pulled over. But even if I did, I'm sure I could have told the cop, I take out the garbage, half the rent. I'm not a rapist. He'd be like, oh, you're not. Go. <laughs> Jerk it, boy! I'll lead you with my sirens and shit. <laughs> and so I get home and I just fucking like I pull up, I uh, and run in, and I just blaze right past the three dogs. And the dogs, when you walk, you know, when you walk in, the dogs are like, oh shit, it's playtime! And then you walk by and they all go, what the fuck? Because that's all they're waiting for all day, is just to go like, ah, that's what you get. And it's like I just ran by and they're like, what the fuck? And I go in the bedroom. 
and I just start going for it. Like fucking aggressively. Like there was no pleasure in this. I was just like, I was like I'm surprised that I didn't start making myself bleed. That's how I was just trying to get it done. And here's the thing, I can make love to myself. Other times I can sex myself up real good. Not this time. This time I just need to save a life. And so as I'm trying to get it done, I'm kind of making a ruckus. And when dogs, excitable dogs, hear a ruckus, they think it's playtime. And so as I'm in there trying to, you know, just get it done, the dogs hear and they go, oh shit, Jonah played a prank on us. Playtime's in there. Let's all go in there now. Let's all go in right now. Let's all the three of us just run in there. And they all ran into the room at the worst time, the, the end time, the worst time. <laughs> They could have ever run into the room. The worst time ever. And I had to do something I never thought I would have to do in my entire life. And that is to kick dogs away from me as to not come all over them. Never in your life do you think that's a thing you should be ready for. You can't be just hanging out when they go, hey, you know what, I better be ready for that one time where I'm just jerking off and a bunch of dogs come in. <laughs> what would I do? Something uh, very intelligent? No, you're just gonna go, oh, fuck, oh, fuck. Because <laughs> you can't justify it. If I could, it's like, you know, I didn't know how I was gonna explain it to my girlfriend. Like, oh, I tried to give him a bath without water. That must be <laughs> leftover soaps. <laughs> Sorry. But because of the, the intensity of the situation and because of how like, I was like so, like, just like, oh God, uh, when it happened, the scariest thing of it all was that was the best orgasm <laughs> I've ever had. And then I got so scared where I was like, what if that's my thing now? <laughs> like, is that how fetishes start? Some weird fucking thing happens and all of a sudden you're like talking to a girl like, hey, it's really nice to meet you. You seem really nice. Do you have a dog? Because I'm going to need to kick a canine to come. <laughs> she broke up with me, so. <laughs> so if there's any epilogue to that tale... Let's keep in mind that I didn't realize how bad of a pun I was making <laughs> when I said that. But in the end, even if I did, fuck yourselves. Your hoity-toity comedy. Happiness is a warm pun. Boom! So it was buttermilk, really? It was buttermilk that made him drunk? 